Welcome to this week's Read the Bible Together session. And uh, of course, we are reading from the Spark Story Bible from Spark House Publishing. And this week, you can follow along in your own Bible at home from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. And this is a story about uh, Nicodemus and the questions Nicodemus has about God. So think about the questions you have about God and talk about those with your family and friends this week, because it is in the questions that we learn more and um, and come closer to God in our questions. So the story, the light of the world from the Spark Story Bible. In the middle of the night, a man named Nicodemus came to see Jesus. It was a strange time to visit someone, but Nicodemus had many questions about God and he didn't want to wait. There was a lot of talk about Jesus and many people didn't believe Jesus. And Nicodemus wasn't sure what he thought about it all. He also wasn't sure he wanted anyone to see him. He knew that Jesus was talking about God in a whole new way and some people didn't like it. That night, Jesus and Nicodemus talked for quite a while. They argued and wondered together about many things. And then Jesus said, really, all you need to know is this, God loves you. In fact, God loves everyone. And it's important that you know this and tell everyone you meet. And you can see the picture there of Jesus and Nicodemus talking in the night with the moon shining through the window. So this is not new, right? I hope it's not new for you that you've heard the words, God loves you, and that Jesus is asking us to share it with everybody. And Jesus goes on, God wants everyone to know how much they are loved. Nicodemus, God loves this world and everyone in it so much that God sent me, his son, so that everyone would learn how much they are loved. God sent me to save the world, Nicodemus. I am the light of the world. I am all that is good and right, and God sent me to light up this world. Unfortunately, people sometimes like darkness better than light. When we do terrible things, the light is not in us. When we are mean or hateful and horrible, the world is a dark, dark place. But when we do things that are good and right, when we love each other and help one another, God's light shines brightly in the world and God is glad. And there you see Jesus sharing the news about how he is the light of the world and God sent him to light up the world. And we continue that work through us every time that we do something good and right in God's eyes and help one another and share God's love. So share the love and share your questions this week.